Hi friends, welcome back to RB English Academy. This is Brito. In this video, we are about to discuss a topic, communication and its types. Let's get into the session. What is communication? Communication is a process of exchanging information, ideas, thoughts, feelings and emotions through speech, signals, writing or behavior. Communication is nothing but it is all about sharing our ideas, information with others through speech or signals. Why is communication important? It helps you to build better relationships at your workplace and increase your chances of success in your career. We all know in this current situation, communication plays a vital role. It helps to build a better relationship in your working place. It also creates lot of chances to become a successful in your career. So, we have to build our communication skills. And here I have given you the process of communication. Basically, communication is a two-way process. We need at least two people to fulfill a communication. The one is sender and the another one is receiver. The sender encode a message and send the message to the receiver. After receiving the message, the receiver decode the message and give his feedback to the sender. While replaying the message, receiver will become the sender and the sender will become the receiver. It is a cyclic process. What are the types of communication? There are two types of communication. One is verbal communication and the next one is non-verbal communication. Let us discuss one by one briefly. The first one is verbal communication. We can classify verbal communication into two. One is oral communication and the another one is written communication. Oral communication is fully based on face to face conversations, speeches, telephonic conversation, video, radio, television, voice over internet. Oral communication is fully based on speeches. Communication is influenced by pitch, volume, speed and clarity of speaking. While speaking, we should notice on our pitch, volume, speed and clarity. It is very essential while conveying our message to others. And the next one is written communication. Written communication message can be transmitted via email, letter, report and etc. In written communication message is influenced by the vocabulary, grammar, writing style, precision and clarity of the language used. In written communication, we have to notice the vocabulary skills, the grammar skills and our writing style and precision and clarity. We should write precise, it should be simple and clear and the message should be very clarity. So, we have to use clear language while writing that will be easy to understand for the readers and the next type is non-verbal communication apart from oral and written communication non-verbal communication is fully based on signals symbols signs and etc let's discuss here i have given you four symbols the first one is indicating no parking and the second one indicates no stopping or standing 
and the third one is compulsory ahead only and the fourth one is compulsory turn right so all the symbols have some inner meaning this is non verbal communication communication other than oral and written such as gesture body language posture tone of voice or facial expressions is called non verbal communication apart from oral and written the activities of the speaker like gesture body language posture tone of voice or facial expressions will come under the non verbal communication non verbal communication is all about the body language of speaker so while we convey our message to the audience we should have an i in our body language and here i have given you few elements of non verbal communication the first one is appearance of the speaker the way of clothing hair style neatness and use of cosmetics will come under the appearance of the speaker and the next one is body language facial expressions gestures and postures will come under the body language and the next one is based on sounds voice tone volume speech rate will come under the sounds sometimes we have to show our intonation while speaking our voice must have some ups and downs while we conveying our message to the audience and here i have given you some communication barriers the first one is the use of jargon jargon is nothing but some unfamiliar or difficult words so the usage of language should be simple and clear it should reach all kind of audience and the next one is lack of attention interest distractions or irrelevance to the speaker we should pay attention towards the speaker we should show some interest among the speaker and in any case we should not distract in some other activities it will create some communication barriers physical disabilities such as hearing problems or speech difficulties is also one of the communication barriers language differences and the difficulty in understanding unfamiliar actions also comes under the communication barriers to avoid these kind of things we should pay lot of attention and we should create lot of interest among the subject and we should learn the particular language to avoid these kind of barriers i hope this video will be very useful for you if you like this video kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you guys thanks for watching keep supporting thank you